this is super amazing from Summer Rangers Mission Incredible Camp and I am here to teach you how to make your very own gratitude tic-tac-toe board. So all of the materials that you'll need are listed here. So since we are going to be using markers to make our tic-tac-toe board, the first thing you want to do is make sure you cover your workspace so that no markers get anywhere they should not go. Now the first thing you need is you need to choose a material for your game board. So I used cardstock, but you could also use a piece of cardboard or plain paper or construction paper. Really anything that is big enough to house your board is perfect. Once you have chosen your game board, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw four lines on your item in a grid. So see, I have two lines like this and two lines like that. The most important thing when you're making this is that each square has some space because we're going to be putting some words or pictures in those spaces. If you want, you can leave the lines um, empty like this, or you can color them in whatever you want to do. You just want to make a big grid with four lines and lots of space in between. So once you have made that grid, this is a super fun part. You are going to choose categories that someone would be grateful for and you're going to put them in your grid. So here's an example of mine right here. Like you could choose a family member that you're grateful for or something from today that you're grateful for or a food that you're grateful for, whatever you want. So I chose to write my categories, but another option could be to draw pictures to represent the categories. Like if you were doing uh, food you're grateful for, you could draw a picture of a pizza or for something you're grateful for in nature, you could draw a tree. All that matters is that people playing understand what categories you're going to pick. So you're going to fill every single square with a different category of something to be grateful for. Once you've done this, you get to choose or make the game pieces. So if you want, you can find something in your house like different types of coins or different knickknacks, something like that, or you can make your own. So you need two different shapes. So for example, the classic X's and O's is an option, or you could choose totally different shapes like a star or a heart. The most important thing is that you choose two different shapes and that there are five of each piece. So five hearts, five stars, or five of whatever category you pick. Once you've done that, you are ready to play. And playing is so easy. It's just like regular tic-tac-toe. So if I was gonna play with my game board, I would sit down with someone, I'd put the game board down, and say I wanted to choose the center square. So I would put my piece on the center square and I would follow the directions, which say name something that makes you happy. Well, something that makes me happy is Planet Ranger Summer Rangers Mission Incredible Camp. Woo! Yes, 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 yeah! You can play with anybody in your family, with your friends, and it's new every single time. So this is an awesome, awesome game for you to make and play. We can't wait to see what you've done. If you make this game, send us a picture so we can post it on our Pinterest board. For more incredible games and activities, please come join us at Summer Rangers in July. Visit planetrangers.org for this year's dates and details. See you there.